Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a first, it's a first for me, it's a first for the channel. We have a first impressions of baby paraphernalia. So it's not makeup, it's not cosmetics, it's not the normal kind of first impressions that I would do. So please bear with me, I'm going to try and be as comprehensive <laughs> as I possibly can be. So today's first impressions is going to be on our travel system. So we have finally decided and purchased our travel system and I thought, why not do a first impressions? I'll eventually review it later on down the line when we've actually had a chance to use it. But for today, I just figured I'd show you a quick rundown of the bundle that we bought. Um, of course, I will leave the exact one down below and where we bought it from because there are various different bundles you can get, various different colourways, but I'll leave the exact one that we bought and where we bought it from in the description box. So we went for the Ickle Bubba Stomp V3. Um, there was a lot, a lot of research that went into this purchase as there is with anything, any kind of big baby purchase. Um, and being, I feel like the most important one, the travel system, it had to have the most. So in the end, this is actually the one that my husband, Joe, picked first, and then he showed me, I wasn't sure. And then when I did loads of research, loads of people were rating this one and it came on loads of like various different lists. So I was like, do you know what? It seems like a good one. Let's just order it. If all, if all fails and we don't like it, we can just return it. So that is what we have done. We are not returning it. I'm gonna, spoiler alert, we're not. But I'm gonna quickly, like I say, run through all of the different kind of components in the bundle that we got specifically. And then I'm gonna quickly take all this bit apart, show you a quick kind of like a little assembly thing just to show you quite how easy it is. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get into it. Let's, let's just do this. So, obviously the main part of this system is the chassis. So we went for the black and chrome or black and silver combination, which came with the um, like brown, bars so the stroller bar and the bumper bar there I believe that's called a bumper bar I don't know I'm new to all this like I said that is the kind of colorway option that we went for so like I say that's just the kind of main chassis and then we have the carry cot with cozy toes toe muff thing whatever you call it people call it various different things I've always known it as cozy toes so that's what that is so we've got that and then this is the kind of seat portion i will show you this like fully undone and in place later on in this video but basically one of the main kind of selling points for this travel system for me was the fact that this seat went onto this exact same frame as the carry cot so i only actually have to store the material part I don't have to store this like whole thing kind of up like this so that's that carry cot with the hood you can remove it um, and it can also be attached when it's in the kind of seat mode um, and then also that has cozy toes as well and then the most important part to get the little child home we have the car seat so like I say, the option we went for was with the Isofix base. Both of the cars that we have are Isofix. So we have got the Isofix base and the car seat. You can, I believe, use this both ways. So you can use it with an Isofix base or you can use it with like the traditional kind of seat belt method. So that is the car seat there. I believe it's called the Galaxy on its own. I think you can buy it separately. It does come with like, hang on, a lot of this is hard to do one-handed, but it does come with this kind of newborn insert thing. I don't know if you can really see it because it's all black. 
um, there and again it comes with its own kind of cozy toes type shebang so that is that and the base and then it also obviously comes with the adapters to go on to the pram and then it came with kind of a couple just kind of accessories I guess so it came with a rain cover which is always handy I mean I live in the UK so it's probably going to be used 99% of the time it also came with two of these like window shade things I don't really know what the proper name for them is the ones that you just kind of pop up and stick onto the windows and then our kit also came with this changing bag which we have bought a separate changing bag um, just because I wanted kind of like a rucksack style one and this is just more of a standard over the shoulder one but we're going to keep this as almost like a spare in the car ready to go bag so it does come with like a changing mat as well which is quite handy to be fair and it comes with like all these little kind of different compartments but yeah so kind of the premise for this is we're just going to kind of leave it packed ready to go at all times in the car and then if we kind of just ever spontaneously pop out i mean you don't do that with a baby let's be honest <laughs> or if we do then we'll always kind of have this in the car ready to go or if i happen to i don't know not pack enough stuff in my regular bag we'll always kind of have this on hand so like I say, I've just taken it all apart just to show you kind of how it came and how easy it is to kind of put together. So this is the main chassis. So you just release it with the little catch on the side there just to put it up into the standard mode. So exactly the same way as you would kind of like fold it down. And then for me, I'll just move this bar out of the way just to make that a little bit easier. Then, first step will be the breaker bar, or brake bar rather. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it a breaker bar. Is that a thing? Is that from something? Oh, there you go. That's why I have it in my head, because I live with a car nut. So, this literally just slides in. Again, it's super easy to pop back off again. It's just got some quick release little buttons down here so you literally just push it in till it clicks like that and like that that is that and then i'm going to put the rear wheels on first which are the larger ones so these have a button in the middle here so you just press that in pop it on the spoke bit and then just let go and it's on just like that so again button in the middle, press it straight on and then it's good to go and then more or less same with the front ones so the front ones are obviously smaller so these have a little button on the pram here so you just pull them up pull and hold it and then literally just feed these into the little hole there that's what she said um, until it clicks and then you can kind of push it back down again they are the like locking things so you can obviously lock the front wheels um, on their own just so they're isolated I guess um, and don't like swivel so again hold that one up push it in it is obvious which way they go they can only go one way because of the little thing that has to click into here for locking so you literally just push them in push that down and it's as easy as that so i'm going to show you the kind of different modes now first one i am going to do is carry cot which i believe already came with the adapters on so these literally just go onto the two things here pretty self-explanatory and again push down until they click like so and then super easy again to release they have these kind of memory clip things so you just kind of push it forward 
and the same on that side so you don't have to kind of press and hold which is good so if I just click it back in again and show you so just these here you push in it kind of remembers that click again on the other side and then literally pull the thing up she says <laughs> like so so I am going to just quickly take the carry cot part of this off pop the seat on just again so I can show you that so again super simple it just zips on so zip it off um, on both sides front and back off of the main frame and then pop the other one in And then you are left with just this carry cot portion. It does have a wooden bit in the bottom there um, to obviously keep it sturdy, which I believe you can take out. I want to say you can. Yes, you can. It's just velcroed on. So you can take that out, fold up the kind of material bit just to store it easier. Once, obviously, baby outgrows this section. So, again, Super easy, we have the seat kind of portion that just goes onto the frame. It hooks on at the top, which it's fairly tight at the moment, but I feel like it's one of those things, it kind of has to be, and it will kind of loosen up a little over time. Um, you know kind of how far it needs to go. So just keep pulling until it gets to that point. Just about there. So this has two, little bits under the bumper bar which just comes off with two little clips up one on either side it's got two little holes that go onto there just to keep them in place and just pull them into place there make sure it's pulled nice and tight and then it has four kind of velcro loops at the bottom which just kind of velcro around the frame it also has a strap that kind of holds it together when it's not in use and that again it just adds a little bit of extra support so it clicks into two little kind of things on the side there and then if you turn it kind of round you can just buckle it together there just to kind of give it that extra bit of safety In fact, so again, I'm not going to do it in this video, but you can zip the hood onto the seat portion as well, but it's a little bit tricky to do, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so that is that. It has a five-point harness, I believe. I'm really not sure about all these different things, but that's that. And then it has this padded thing which again just goes over the top of all of this so like that it has two different height settings so i believe when it's a little bit older i think this holds up to 22 kilos it said which seems like a lot um but i'm pretty sure that's what it says and um, yeah, it's just a really handy kind of thing to have because you can then take this liner almost out and wash it if it gets all grubby. So yeah, and then they just obviously click into that part there. Drops a good end. And then, oh, put the bar on just because it's easier to then lift it up. Pop the bumper bar back in. with a not so satisfying click and then again this goes onto the pram it can either go it can go both ways it can go parent facing or world facing and again it just clicks onto the parts there it does lay flat or you can change it With the little side thingies 
there. So that is that. Again, I'm not going to put the cozy toes on. Y'all know what that looks like. So that is that. So again, quick release with these little clicker things. Sorry, not going to let me do it now. I put it on the wrong way. So click, click, and out. And then the last part is the car seat. So obviously you have to put the separate adapters which obviously come with it on here. They indicate which ones you need to go which side. So this is the left and this is the right. So again, this has a removable hood. It just kind of slips on the back there and zips onto the kind of main carry bar. So this, again, just goes straight onto the adapters. I can find the hole. Okay. And again, click on both sides. And voila. So, that is that. How super exciting. Covered in cat hair already. So, that is my overall kind of first look at the pram. Uh, we've had this for a day now, it came yesterday. Um, like I say, I'll leave the link to the one we bought and where we bought it from in the description and they offer free next day delivery, so that was awesome. So yeah, I'm really excited to actually use this now. I'm currently 20 plus three days, 20 weeks plus three days. So I am doing a lot of kind of baby content at the moment, kind of pregnancy updates and things like that. So if that's your kind of bag and you're new to my channel and have stumbled across this video somehow, then hello. Um, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those kind of videos. I'm gonna be doing all sorts of organization, baby hauls, all of the, that kind of fun stuff. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please do drop them in the info box or if you have any kind of advice um, on any of the kind of bits, how to make, it, make my life easier, again, please leave that in the comments box because um, I'm all about the easy life. But yeah, all in all, we're both pretty happy with this. It was a really good deal, I think. And from where I've, and from who I've told, they've said it seems pretty good too for a comprehensive travel system, including like all the base and all of that kind of stuff and all of the kind of added extras. Pretty happy with how it is so far. Obviously, needless to say, we haven't properly tried it out yet. We only have with our cat. I will insert that footage at the end. Um, and yeah, but all in all, we're pretty damn happy and just cannot wait for there to be a little peachy human right here. So like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Honey, what's this? Oh, what's it? Are you going for a ride?